All right, guys, today, nothing fancy, just a spark plug and wire change on a 95 uh, long bed, one ton dually uh, that a guy pulls his race car trailer with. So we'll work on that. We're also going to do a compression test, which isn't very exciting, but it's a big block truck, so it's kind of fun. Let's get started. Anyways, we're gonna do the compression test real quick, and then we will check the, uh, and then we'll put plugs on it, plugs and wires in it. All right, we got our compression tester here. It releases in the middle. So thanks to Steven for letting me do that. Uh, we'll read through the directions real quick. It says battery must be near or at full charge, so the cranking speed can be the same at the first cylinder as it is the last. Uh, idle the engine until it is warm, which we did. Uh, before we move the spark plugs. With safety glasses on, blow out the dirt from around the porch, which I did. Uh, just did it off camera there. I forgot to hit the record. Um, let's see, so it doesn't lodge in the valve seats and cause low readings. Remove all spark plugs and the air cleaner, which we have. Uh, block wide open the throttle body valve or carburetor throttle and choke plates, which we did with this neat little thing here. Um, disconnect the ignition system which on these is in the back corner behind the intake. So I disconnected it, it's just like a, a four pin uh, connector. Um, disconnect the system, it's uh, thread the correct adapter in the spark plug hole, which is what we have here. So do not use long reach adapters on engines with standard spark plugs as engine damage may occur, okay? Uh, crank the engine six times or until maximum pressure is reached. Engines with higher compression may take 10 or more cranks, but limit the cranks to only 15 seconds maximum. To retest the same cylinder or before going to the next cylinder, release the pressure by pushing the depressor under the gauge. Test each cylinder. All right. And then it gives you a whole bunch of specs on what they should read for different years and all that kind of stuff. Here we go. All right guys, so all the cylinders had between, like number five was the lowest with 140 PSI, and I think number, or number five, yeah, and number six was the highest with like 170 or something like that, I don't know. Um, everything looked good, everything from 140 to 170, so it's nothing crazy. Uh, flip open the paperwork here, and basically it says anything 90 to 96, which this is a 96, uh, six or eight, okay, all of them. Lowest cylinder must be within 70% of the highest cylinder. So at that rate, you'd have, let's see, 170 would be, uh, let's see, 170 times, 70%, 70 plus 120. So we're definitely within that range, 120, 130, something like that. So being at 140, we're completely fine. And uh, so I'll flip it back to time lapse while I put the new plugs and wires on. All right guys, that's it. Um, it was a little longer than what I thought I needed to work on it, but it's the first time I've done plugs on a uh, 454 truck, and probably will be the last. That's no fun. That's, uh, the hardest part is the distributor behind the intake. Ah, dang, it's like the number one plug is way too far in. So we'll get it started and get it back down and get it over to the customer. 